So we looked at something called position, and if we have an axis here and we have our Chihuahua Chikizi here located at the uh, negative four, we would say that Chikizi is located at x equals negative four meters. And we looked at distance. So if Chikizi then traveled over here to the three, we would say that Chikizi traveled a distance of seven meters, and that's just counting from the negative four over to the three. Okay, so now we're gonna look at something called displacement. And displacement is the final position minus the initial position, and you include the direction. So here's our axis, and here's Chikizi, and he's starting at the negative four, and he's ending at the three. His displacement, we would take his final position, three meters, subtract his initial position, negative four meters, and that gives us seven meters. And so we would say Chikizi's displacement is seven meters, and then remember, we have to include a direction, and Chikizi traveled to the right, so Chikizi's displacement is seven meters to the right. Displacement is a change in position along with a direction, and we sometimes write it as a delta x, where that means the x final, the final position, minus x initial, the initial position. And that delta you can think of as final minus initial. So here's an example. A duck waddles from x equals seven meters to x equals negative five meters. What is the duck's displacement? So we could draw an axis, and here's our duck all the way over at seven, and the duck travels all the way over to negative five. Delta x, which is x final minus x initial, would be negative five minus seven. And that gives us negative 12 meters. And so the duck's displacement is 12 meters to the left. So a wagon's displacement is seven meters north. Well, the seven meters, we would call that the magnitude. And the north, that's the direction. So our duck example here, the duck waddling from x equals seven meters to x equals negative five meters. Well, the duck's displacement we saw is 12 meters to the left. The magnitude of the duck's displacement is just 12 meters without the direction. So let's compare distance and displacement. A person walks from x equals zero meters to x equals six meters. The person then turns around and walks back to x equals two meters. So what would this look like on an axis? Well, we're starting at zero and going to six, and then the person turns around and goes back to x equals two meters. So the distance, well, we would add up each individual portion of this trip here. We would have six meters plus four meters, and that's 10 meters. Notice that we don't include a direction when we talk about distance. Displacement, on the other hand, remember, that's the final position minus the initial position. So that's two meters minus zero meters. That's two meters. But remember, we have to include a direction, so it's two meters to the right. Why is it to the right? Well, we started at zero and we ended at two, so overall the person walked to the right. 